I'm dreading. I'm dreading this. All right, you guys. Oh, Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the most important wheel spin we have ever done. Whatever this wheel lands on is the album we're going to be listening to. Space Ashes has not paid for it yet. But whatever it lands on is what we're going to listen to. There's Pitbull, Planet Pit, 303 with Want, and Ada Rook. Amazing artist, Ada Rook. Uh, Ugly Death, No Redemption. Uh, I've never felt like my life was so in the hands of a wheel. I God, I kind of hate this, but also like this is very exciting. Um, oh God, Just anything but three hundred three, please. All right. Uh, and that's why you always gamble because you always win that's what i'm saying when you gamble you win every single time i'm a winner i'm a winner it's that easy you guys you don't even understand get it twisted oh my God. gambling will win thank you space ashes yo, let's fucking do this, this. Yo, I dude this, this is what i'm saying right here okay gambling will make you a winner Holy shit. Ah, oh, man. It's like, I was scared, you know? <laughs> but I shouldn't be. Um, I have one of these songs saved. Is it saved? It is literally saved in like songs. That's very promising immediately. Ugly Death, No Redemption, Angel Curse, I Love You. This came out 2022. Uh, I've heard one song off of here that I clearly enjoyed enough to save. So, um, yeah. Eat a Rook, I believe, is one half of Black Dresses, an amazing music project. that makes some incredible, like, uh, noisy, experimental pop music that is... Uh, really out there and stuff that I feel like is just one of a kind in general. Um, so, uh, yeah, I could imagine that with a lot of the praise that I've heard from this project, um, that this is going to be wonderful. Uh, only note I'll give is this is a personal 10 out of 10 for Space Ashes. Dude, this is hype. No, this is not... Re okay, let's... I'll tell you what. Let's do it like this. What if that spin didn't count? It does count, but let's say... Let's spin it one more time, all right? But I'll only spin it one more time... If everyone spams exclamation point gamble to celebrate gambling, okay? Because gambling is important in this world. Um, makes the world go round, just like this wheel. There we go. All right. So, say if that didn't count, what would it have been? <laughs> They're so close. Yeah, I know. We dodged a bullet with that one. You see how close it was? <laughs> that would have been really funny. <laughs> but it's not that. First song, I'm Sis. Uh-oh, that's a slur, you guys. Starting off with a slur. It's not a good sign, okay? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I got to turn back up the volume because I turned it down for that lossless audio. Um, all right. Do I listen to Tina? I wanna have a good time. Oh, zero three? No. Can Ada even reclaim that word? I don't know. I might lose respect for this artist. I know. Also, Tina, I'll only listen to you if you get me the pizza you said you'd make me. All right. Oh, yeah, I gotta actually hear the lyrics of this one. You gotta kind of pay attention a bit, so I'm gonna go back. I wanna have a good time. I'm over bleeding out. I just want to feel nice. And say none of my songs are about being trans. I wish that none of my songs were about how fucked up I'm 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 fuc
Oh, it transitions nicely. I, I do want to say, though, that there are some people who are going to absolutely hate this album. Um, immediately off the bat, I'm not one of them. It makes me proud to be trans. Dude, I'm telling you right now that trans artists right now are kind of just like doing way too much heavy lifting when it comes to the music industry right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, Kate? Exactly. See, I see what happened here. Um, you know, Space Ash just said that there was one great album on that uh, spinning wheel. And I'm realizing now, uh, listening to this woke garbage, uh, that it was the Pitbull album, unfortunately. Um, yeah, big disappointment right here. Um, it's unfortunate, all right? It's, I, I just, you know, it's too woke for me. You know, dreams I gave up all my life to try and make a poor home. But it's been driven out of me. This whole world is a weapon. And then some fall redundancy. Everyone can see the future. The love trash fear away, crushing out of my every precious thing. Got me little bitch. Yeah, first, that's why we need her. All of a sudden you have a urge to eat a lemon. Ah, oh, man. Ada Rook. Or like Ado Rook. Okay, because these vocals, alright? They're so screechy. I'm hearing um, but unfortunately we seem to have an interruption it, it seems that we've uh, this album's been intercepted as Tina's uh, graciously decided to pay uh, to upgrade it to the 303 album is that right Tina yeah, yeah. no <laughs> That's me, Brad. Now you're gonna have to pay way more to upgrade the 303 at this point. I'm vibing. Since no more 
children could be born. They have no choice but to accept death. You put me in a tough spot here. Space Ashes. Here's the thing. You have put me in a bad position. Because I already liked this song. So, even before I listen to this song, people are going to think I'm into woke garbage. Okay? It's not fair. Now, do I actually like this song? Eh, yes, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I think it's off the rails. And in terms of basically trans expression, um, I think that this is some of the most interesting out there. I've heard albums where, you know, they talk about the trans experience and whatnot, but I feel like there is something about this that truly feels like being trapped uh, in a body. Realistically, like, there is something about this, the anxiety that feels so real uh, and instantaneous. If you want to basically say sharing that experience, it is, um, yeah, I think it's a fantastic, like, way to do it. Um, so, yeah, I think the song's amazing. Just straight up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this entire album deals with trans expression. It's incredible. Well, that depends who you ask. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, this is a safe space in here. For who? Not you guys. <laughs> safe space for me and my wallet. That's the only thing that's safe here, all right? Is the motherfucking safe under this desk that keeps all the Benjamins, okay? Anyways, whatever. Purgatory modulation engine. <laughs> That, that was the reaction to your comment, Space Ashes. Yeah, this is so cool. Hmm. You know, would you be able to post that link? Some mean pizza. A plant, it is a constant. Everything good that happens has an opposite. Fuck this, why does everything oscillate? There has to be a better way. There has to be a better way. There has to be a better way. Third law, where the fuck do you get off running this place this way? Everything's clear being with you here and what are the odds? I don't know. Never mind, it's fine. I'm almost done eating pizza. Something so rare, so real, so energy spice, energy fall. Here, I'll just link your Bandcamp page. There you go. You women have sex with each other. <laughs> women have sex with each other.
disgusting. I would never watch. I mean, uh, I would never agree to that sort of behavior. Terrible. <clears throat> Anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay, that song was cool. Another really cool song. I, I'm I'm kind of a little uh, confused with that one because I feel like it's just so all over the place. But all I know is I I really liked it. It's wild. It's frantic. It's extremely expressive. I'd probably give it like eight. Uh, all right. This is called True You. You women have sex with each other. I won't do it anymore. You do drugs, too. I never touch those. And you think about nothing but death. Well, not really. Weaponize a drought and rage. You're not even alive. Animated by the shame. Click say they mesmerize. Who am I to you? Do you know that true? Sometimes I feel like Darwin's messages are AI-generated. Uh, AI The right though, the stream is great. Yeah. Is that an English or the first English? Well, that's what I suspect. interesting track that I feel like understands groove very well and it's allowed to basically fuck around as much as possible as long as it's once again kind of still coloring in the lines uh, it doesn't really matter what the color is it, again it's in the lines and it's uh, I feel like it shows a bit of restraint even when it's at its most extreme um, and as a result uh, yeah it can break boundaries be crazy but uh, still feels like a song uh, with a strong root and understanding and foundation uh, all this pretentious shit is basically saying uh, went hard Smiley ball. Hopefully I don't sound way too fucking pretentious with some of these explanations. I mean, I'm loving what I'm hearing so far. This is, this is how I think about it, though, realistically. It's like, I like breaking it down like this. Gravity weapon. Why am I not even reading chat? What the hell is going on with chat, Brad? Read the message. Read Hark. Read my, read my last message. Uh. I'm an idiot. I linked the wrong thing. So stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's see if I can find this. Uh. It's scratcher. Yeah, my bad. No hope. And for the the song. Find it. Oh, you already did it? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I gotta pay a bit more attention, I guess. Your teen is yelling at me from the other room. Uh. 
Hold on to your fucking balls. This is gonna kill you. Okay. I let my nuts hang, right? I'm not seeing these chats because I'm paying attention to the music. I got my thing up here. I'm also looking at reviews of this shit. They're not on Spotify, though. There, there would be a little microphone here if the lyrics were on Spotify. Yeah, that's, I would have done it. That's the first thing I'm looking at it with all these songs. If, if it shows up, then I'll, then I'll click it. But yeah. For me, they're there. Oh, let me see here. Book. All right, here's here's what I got. Watch this. This is genius. You guys are gonna be like, holy shit, that's a genius idea. Okay, so we're gonna first go to this song. Great song. No, not this one. There we go. That. Watch this. So now that we're here. Nope. If they were there, that would have worked. Um. But yeah, I mean, here's the thing is like for me, I'm able to like pull up the lyrics on another screen and whatnot. Um, and I recommend, you know, for anybody else to do that as well. The problem is the advertisements on Genius literally try to dox you. So, um, yeah, it could be a region thing. Yeah. Uh, hold on to your fucking balls. This is going to kill you. I've had block two. Shit doesn't work. Right, okay, you got hot milks in your area.
Yeah, this is just 2022 MSI. That is wrong on so many levels that I should not even address that. That is such a terrible thing to say. Holy shit. Oh yeah. You like that shit, Hartford? You like that shit, Hartford? Oh, what a transition. Wait, it's on shuffle? It's on shuffle and it went to the right song. Oh, it's because it's on the queue. Yes, beautiful ending of the world. It's over, bitch. Hey. Dubstep. We the best music! That song was amazing, by the way. One of the best so far. All right, I'll pause for this. Um, that that previous song, in my opinion, is probably the darkest in terms of sound, and probably one of the most focused, uh, dist like self-destructive style songs so far. Really, just sort of digging in the skin to get to the root of the emotions and feelings, and it is uh, uncomfortable, but also extremely catchy. You know what I'm saying? It's a motherfucking bang. That's what I'm fucking saying, dude. I didn't forget to rate the song. I was letting it transition since it did it uh, seamlessly. You know, I like to see, like, I, I, I'll let a song play out if it's, like, really just connected to the next one. Because um, sometimes, you know, you, you, like, miss out on something because you decide to stop it. You know what I mean? Boring. I feel like I'm witnessing someone try to scratch their skin to get to something under it. I'd say this is boring. Is he a last message? Suck an album, man. You enjoy what it gets to? Oh, thank you. Oh, they said boing, not boring. Oh yeah, look at that. They, they did say boing. <laughs> boing? It's like boing. Gavin dance, but for people who are emotionally distressed, oh wait.
Uh, I don't really care that much for the style, especially at the end there of Coward to Coward, but I also feel like it continues things really well, personally, up until that point. Um, where it kind of feels like I'm honestly less interested in even the, the small, like, individual pieces as much as I am the big picture, because, again, I, I do feel like this project is self-dissection in a way that is completely destructive and horrifying. Um yeah, and uh, it's it's it is. It's one of those instances where, uh, sure, the details they do matter, but also at the same time they kind of don't. And I'm just enjoying the the shit show. Windows did not find any threats since your last summary. That's what Windows would say if there was a threat. By the way, they would tell me there's no threats. Okay. Anyways, yeah, and it's kind of a shrug. Like a six. Underneath it all. Looking up at a blood red sky, I don't recognize this look in your how eyes. Could it be? How could it be? How could a world so beautiful let this happen? Swallowed up in a distant roar, thunder hit my head and then I hit the floor. How could it be? How could it be? Reality dissolves to an evil pattern. That was way too harsh than that last song. Whatever the hell this is, this is the worst song. That last song is a seven. This is like showing me, oh, I was way too harsh. Whatever the hell this is, no, this is the decline right here. So this is the story of a girl where everyone's first impression of her is that she's really innocent. But when you get to actually talking to her, you find out she's kind of got a dirty mind. Yeah. So I had this idea for a song from the perspective of anxiety. Check this out. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what kind of bullshit this hook is, but it does not work, bro. This shit sounds like horse shit. You're telling me that in this incredibly raw and intimate album, we're going to have this Shane Smoker sounding ass crap in the middle of it? Hell nah, dude. I was here at 8 hour Q. Are you holding up all right? Is the insanity getting to you? I, dude, I'm actually pretty good at what I do at this point. Like, I'm, I'm pretty composed. I'm good. I'm, like, I'm ready to keep going. I thunder in my head and I hit the floor It couldn't be 
I had a better hook. The old Taylor can't get to the phone right now. That hook was a two pack of ass. As Joe Budden would say, I think. Yeah, that fucking butchered the song. Holy shit. Everything else is fine. Um, I kind of get what it's going for, but I just don't like the sound of this shit, man. It's basically as simple as that. Uh, keeps things moving, at least. Next song, uh, Vanish Slash Doom. Listen up, ladies. The cursed men who used guns brought destruction upon themselves. And women also fought using guns, and only a handful escaped the curse. That's why we don't hurt other women. Women are all about charm. Exactly. Whoever lacks charm continues to kill. We have to stop that no matter what. Oh my god. Oh. I'm not listening to wait, I listened to the Caravan Palace album. I fell asleep. But that was it. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, when it comes to black dresses, these hooks usually are seamless. They're some of the best moments of these entire projects where the concepts and everything just comes together in such a perfect way. Um, I, I can see that that's, in my opinion, the weakest part of this album so far. Not even close. Um, as, as they just clash so horribly against the rest of this project. Um, again, I don't think it makes it like terrible. I just think that it's worth mentioning. What's sad is when the stream is over, I'm actually not done listening to music. I can be if I want, but there's stuff I still want to listen to. I don't know. Maybe MGP. Some change, yeah, 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 yeah. That song, yeah. yeah. I think the sound bite moment on stream is enough. I don't think I have to push it. You keep track of your ratings, all of them, yeah.
you're right. I don't think anything will match that. As long as there is evil in people's hearts, my right, gun right. and bullets shall be there to shed light wherever you desire. track on the album i got an emergency text so I'm, I'm gonna restart the song okay so that previous track definitely i mean obviously has some things that i think were a little rough but i also feel like it is essential to the overall experience of this album and i feel like the yeah i feel like the experience of this track in general kind of makes up for some of the rougher moments um so yeah well i don't really love the hook i still think the song is enjoyable and i give it a seven A bit of a rebound from underneath it all, though it's still a little rough. Uh, Zanal fatigue. Zanal fatigue, not Zanal, Jesus. And you hate that stupid mouse. The word is not fatigue, it's falg. Zanal falg. Why am I so stupid? Oh, whatever, get me out of here, dude. I've screwed up enough. Sorry, guys. I, I said Zanal Fatigue because I got the name of this song mixed up with my night with your mom last night. So, you know how it goes. Uh, sometimes, you know, especially after streaming 12 hours, you make these uh, weird mix-ups and associations. Was good. So what this album to me is is um, an extremely modernized. Uh, yeah, it basically feels like internet hell. Um, taking uh, something that I feel like can be seen as as petty as like internet stuff and um, you know difficulties in life through this sort of lens, and um, I feel like pushing it to the listener in a way that is actually extremely universally understandable. Um, and I commend it, like, severely for that. Even if I feel like some of the individual songs maybe aren't as impactful, you hear a song like this, and it's, 
And it, it, a lot of it just clicks. The claustrophobia of this album just makes sense. Um, yeah. <laughs> That being said, I've already written a review for this album. It's very disrespectful, and I probably shouldn't post it. Allow me to read it to you first. <clears throat> uh, this, is, this is my review, and I assumed I was going to give this a positive rating, so keep that in mind, that it's supposed to be accompanied with a positive rating. Uh, trans rage, keep away from schools, very dangerous, protect your kids at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> Should add something about the American flag in there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, don't pay, post that, mate. Yeah, it's terrible. It's time that I return you to your other world. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Enough people are saying don't post it, so I don't know. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, this song to me is kind of the quintessential uh, gemstone of what this album is about. Uh, and for that reason, yeah, I, I, considering I am mostly a fan of how this album is depicting this sort of pain, um, it's no wonder I love that. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's basically... Yeah, it's, it's what initially drew me into this project uh once again so yeah night in a secret world half joking no no i have a better review i think that's uh a lot more serious and respectful short book The PT Cruiser of bad music. Wait, this music right here? That's right, not everyone's gonna like it. Thank you for the five bucks, though. And this album, I mean, literally, the first word of this album is ugly, which is a very accurate way of describing this project, in my opinion. No, this is more like an old rusty car with a rocket attached to it driving down the highway. That's what this album is. I hate that stupid mouse. It's over, bitch. Fuck that mouse. I 
Oh, moved on to the next song. Alright, I'll count that as an intro. This is definitely me when I'm Jerry. TV when I'm with my family when we're all like you know vacationing together we all watch it but I've probably seen it there are indeed many women in this world without men who engage in such bonds I don't I've really like this think that's not people how long were these other albums I closed out of the thing right how come? Because I am no doubt insane. I wanna forget all about hit. who I was. I wanna be best friends. Probably <laughs> Vero 3 and Pitbull were for, both 42 minutes. Are you telling me that I missed out on maybe like a hundred bucks from you because of that wheel? Bro, this is why I say don't ever gamble because you will lose. But like gambling is bad. Don't do it. You're not going to break even. You're going to lose every time. I want to show you all the evil that's inside. <laughs> It says to niche the command. It's to niche. There's still time before the sunrise. Like just as an Ada Rook that has frequencies only transsexuals can hear. <laughs> They're putting gay in the music now. They're putting trans in the in the in the sound waves, you guys. Is dangerous music. Transmitting trains to your brain. Yeah, this is, I mean, is, I think it's an amazing ending. I, I give it an 8 plus. Like, I think it wraps up everything really nicely. Um, in my opinion, yeah, I mean, here's my review. It, it is a much more respectful review, and I'm proud of this one. Ada takes the modern feeling of being trans in the internet age and translate, uh, translates it into an intense universal experience. Despite a few moments falling flat, the project is a huge success at this mission, which I think basically perfectly captures how I feel about it. Um, the discomfort of this album is part of the experience, and yes, even the few moments where I'm like, eh, um, overall everything just adds together as a really strong experience. It's something that I feel like is powerful. Uh, it, again, extremely successful at what it's attempting to do, and uh, yeah, it... Uh, I, I thought it was fantastic. I, I really liked it, and I appreciate you sharing this. Brad, you fucked up. Fantano gave it a seven. You gave it an eight. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. Those songs that I heard that I wasn't like crazy. I don't know, man. 
Yeah, there's some moments that uh, didn't really work. I'm feeling a seven on this album, like honestly, you know? It's like a seven, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. You know how it goes, you guys. <laughs> no, but really though, I appreciate the Space Ashes. And once again, I'm very grateful that I got to listen to this, even though this abrasive shit definitely scared away a lot of the people uh, from chat and the stream in general. I really appreciate this, so. This was a joy, and uh, I want to thank you again for sending this in.